Alright, so the intro for Carousel just sounds something like this then. <laughs> Okay, that's like the first part then, and then what it does after that is play like a very sort of similar part, it just ends a little bit different. So for that first part then, um, index finger, fret 5, string number 5, ring finger, fret 7, string 4, little finger, fret 7, string 3. I'm going to play this 8 times, and then another 6 times, okay, and then you know, I, I sort of try and break it down like that just so it's a little bit easier to play, and you know, when you sort of count it in your head, so... Play it eight times downwards. We're going to palm mute it. So this part of your hand there, we're going to rest that down on the strings up near the bridge. So eight times, and then six more times. So okay, and then from there we're going to go. All right. So index finger, fret four, string four. We're going to play that once. Then middle finger onto fret five, string four. Play that four times. Then back to fret 4 and then move that down to fret 2 so okay from there then and if you go back to that start position and then move it up a string I'm going to play that once and then uh, play it seven more times palm muted so okay something like that alright so so far then yeah so from there slide it up two frets to frets seven and nine we're going to do the exact same thing so we're going to play it eight times then six times all downwards palm muted then we're going to go back to that little riff okay and then from there it's going to be your index finger onto fret three string number six your ring finger fret five string five little finger fret 5 string 4 and we're going to do that once and then palm muted 7 times so that last section then from the 7 and 9 okay so that's how to play intro A then and um, if you look at like the tab now we've gone on to intro B the first part is exactly the same as we've just learnt if you have a look at the tab again, it's just altered slightly. And if you look, the only difference is right at the end, when we go to frets uh, 3 and 5, instead of playing it uh, 7 times, we're just going to play it 5 times. And then what we're going to do is put our index finger onto fret 4, string number 5, play that, and then middle finger onto fret 5, string 5, play that and let it ring out, okay? And then if I play that, you'll sort of hopefully recognise it. And I think at that part, when that's ringing out, that's like when the bass does its thing. So, uh, you know, for intro B then, if you follow it through the tab, it'll just be like this then. Okay, and then after that, that's when the bass comes in, it starts going... You know, that kind of thing, whatever. So, that's the intro there then. And so, like I said, after the intro, the bass kind of plays a little thing. And halfway through playing that, the guitar comes in and, like, with a clean tone and plays this uh, little riff. So. Okay. It does that and then it goes into like a really kind of heavy distorted sound. So to play that then, uh, start off with your fingers back in that very first power chord shape we played. What we're going to do to start with is kind of uh, just rest them lightly on the strings. Don't press down like you're going to play the chord, just lightly rest them so that when you strum, you kind of get that muted sound, alright? We're going to go down up, we're going to do that twice and then press your fingers on and then play that twice normal. So. Yeah, so it's like tick, do do, and then what we're going to do is do the muted thing four times. So in total, okay, and then we're just going to keep doing that pattern uh, over and over, where we're going uh, downwards twice and then doing it four times. 
I think we're going to do that uh, five times in total. So, like this then. Okay. So the and then okay. So from there, all we're going to do is go up a string, do the same pattern. So twice normal, and then four times muted. Then we're going to slide it up to frets seven and nine. Do the same thing, and finally slide all the way up to frets 10 and 12 and then come down a string and do the same pattern so if you look at the tab then in total it'll uh, go through and sound like this then okay so that's the first part then and then uh, the second part the last part that's just going to sound like this then it's going to go back to that very first start shape and uh, we're going to do the same pattern so Okay, so yeah, we're going to do that. Slide up to frets 7 and 9, then slide up to frets 9 and 11, and finally slide up to frets 10 and 12. So, okay, so that's how you play intro C. Alright, so now we're on to intro D then, and this is like where the song kind of really kicks in and starts doing like some heavy kind of distorted power chords and uh, it's just going to sound like this then okay so that's like intro D then and then after that it kind of goes into that quick riff that you probably know so to start off with then, it's all the way back to that very first power chord shape. I'm going to play this six times, and the pattern is kind of going to be like playing it twice, then three times, then once more so. Do 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 do. Okay, and then all we're going to do is go up a string, play it six more times, slide it up to frets seven, nine, six more times, and then it's up to ten and twelve, and go down a string, and six more times so. Okay, that's the first part. Look at the tab now, then it's going to uh, change for you. The second part, uh, it's going to start off the same, so, you know, those chords, and then from the 7 and the 9, it's going to go down to 3 and 5, but we're only going to play that 5 times, okay, so, and then after that, we're just going to put our index finger onto fret 4, string 5, and then play that, and then your middle finger, fret 5, string 5, and play that and just sort of hold that for a second, so uh, like the second part then okay so now if you have a look at the tab, we're on to like that little bit of a kind of riff and then um, all we're going to do, well I'll play it again so it sounds like this then okay something like that so uh, index finger fret 4 string 5 play that and then it's your middle finger onto fret 5 string 5 I'm going to play that again then I think I'm going to play um, I think it's 5 times and then once more okay so 6 times in total then it's just going to be your index finger onto fret 7 string 5 play that okay then from there it's just taking your little finger back off and going back down to fret 5 with your middle finger so uh, that part sounds something like this then okay and then it's just that first two notes again so okay so that ends the first part then and then uh, for the second part it's going to start off the same so index finger and then your middle finger then we're going to play uh, string 5 fret 5 three more times then we're going to go up with your little finger to fret 7 string 5 and play that so so far the second part okay and then from there index finger to fret 4 string 5 okay middle finger fret 5 string 5 and to finish off it's going to be little finger fret 7 string 5 then your middle finger fret 5 string 5 and then string 5 open so to end okay so that second part mm -hmm. 
And at first it can be a little bit confusing just because it's all kind of being played on one string and you're having to move your fingers up and down quite a bit. But again, um, you, know, you should be okay with the first part of it, like the power chord. It's just that sort of pattern, you know, the, that you might not be alright with. And it'll sound like this again then. Okay, something like that. So the next part is uh, like this then. Okay, so that's like one of the main riffs in the song then. Again, it's all on um, one string, I think. So, index finger, fret four, string number four. Going to play that three times, then it's your middle finger onto fret five, uh, string number four. Play that once, so okay and then index finger down to fret 2 we're going to play that once and then four times and then once more so okay do 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 okay something like that and then um, back up to that start position then going to play fret 4 three times middle finger on to fret 5 after that it's your little finger on to fret 7 twice okay so okay then little finger off so you're back in that position fret five twice fret four once little finger down to index finger down to fret two and play that once so all right and then the second part if you look at the tab uh, it's going to start off the same so that very first part so right down until you get to the second fret says alright and then what we're going to do is go okay something like that so index finger fret 4 string 4 going to play that then your middle finger onto fret 5 string 4 play that take those off and play that string so string number 4 open twice so okay if you look at the tab we're going to do that twice and then after that, it's going to be your index finger down to fret 2, string 4. Then your ring finger onto fret 4, string 4. So, alright. And then this is where it goes. So, leaving your fingers in that position, put your little finger onto fret 5, string number 4. I'm going to play that. Take your finger off. Then take that finger off. And then take your index finger off. So, okay. So that's how you play an intro E. I think that's the final part of the intro. Finally, get into like a verse. But again, that will sound like this in total. Okay. Right, so the first part of the verse then is pretty simple. It's just some power chords, and it'll sound like this then. Okay, kind of quick. And all we're doing is going back to that very first power chord shape that we played. We're going to play it once, and then release your grip like we did earlier, and do the muted thing. So, okay, we're going to do that three times. So, yeah, and then go down to fret two with your index finger, so you're covering strings three and four don't cover string five or six though because like, we need string five to be open so same pattern all the way up to index finger fret seven string six your ring finger all the way up to your index fingers are fret seven string six ring finger fret nine string five your little finger fret nine string four same pattern then down to frets three and five all right so in total Alright, something like that. So uh, that's like the verse for guitar one, and then there's another guitar in the background uh, playing this kind of thing then. Okay, so kind of quick again. And um, what we're doing is lots of single notes and lots of palm muting, alright? So to start off with, put your middle finger onto fret 11, string 3, and your ring finger onto fret 12, string 4. And if you look at the tab, Every time we play string three, that's not going to be palm muted, alright? 
and every time we play string four, that is going to be palm muted. So that's kind of you know, that's kind of going to give us this uh, sort of pattern. And yeah, so you can hear the and then the muted notes. So if you look at the tab, we're going to play string uh, three once, then string four twice. We're going to do that twice, and then finish with string three and then string four. So okay. And that's basically the pattern we're going to be doing all throughout this riff. From there, index finger, fret uh, 7, string 4, ring finger, fret 9, string number 3, same pattern. Okay, slide it up to frets 9 and 11. Okay, and then all the way down to frets 5 and 7, same pattern. So, you know, it, when you first sort of hear it, it does sound kind of complicated, but once you actually know where to put your fingers, it's not that difficult at all. So once again, okay, I'm doing all down strokes for that as well. If you want to, you can do like alternate picking, you know, whatever you find easiest. So next up, we've got the chorus. This is probably like the easiest part of the song. Just some really sort of simple power chords like this. <laughs> Okay, so back to that power chord shape that we keep playing. Uh, four times there, then slide it up to frets seven and nine, four more times, and this is all down strokes. Uh, then go back down to that shape at fret two, then with your index finger. And then to finish off, index finger, fret three, string six. Uh, your ring finger on fret five, string five. Your little finger, fret five, string four. So that first part. <laughs> Okay, then if you look at the second part of the tab, it's going to actually sort of be the same chords, but when we come down to fret 2, we're going to play it once, and then lay your hand down on the strings to stop it, like that, you know, just play it once, and then go back to that uh, 3 and 5, and play that four times, so... Okay, and if you know the song, I think that's when he's talking about spending uh, another, light, uh, another night alone, and it goes... You know, I guess it's just another, I guess it's just another, I guess it's just another night alone, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, that's a chorus there then. So next up we've got like another quick riff, and this is like the interlude. I think the bass uh, kind of starts off this piece, and the guitar comes in with... Something like that, okay. So, middle finger, onto fret 5, string 5. I'm going to play that, and then kind of just stop it, then it's going to be index finger, fret 4, string 4, then middle finger, fret 5, string 4, then your little finger onto fret 7, string 4, and then come back down, so it's going to be 4, 5, 7, 5, 4, so. And then back to that start note with your middle finger on fret 5, string 5, so. Okay, so it's like an ascending then descending kind of run, so. Okay, all we're going to do from there is go up a string and play the exact same thing. So this time, we're going to start on string 6 and do the riff on string 5, so. Okay, then from there, slide it up. So you're starting on fret 7, string 6, so. Okay, and then do the riff with your index finger starting at 6. So 6, 7, 9. And then 7, 6, and back to that start uh, note, so. Okay. And then finally, move your middle finger all the way down to fret 3, string 6. Do the same riff again, so. That's a start note, and then fret 2, then 3, then 5, then 3, then 2, and then back to the start note, so. Okay. So, when you sort of first hear it and see it on the tab, it can look, you know, kind of tricky. But it's basically the same pattern for all four riffs, just played in different places, so. Yeah, so kind of easy, really, once, um, you know, you've got the kind of pack, uh, picking down, okay? I think after that part, then it's just going to go back into the chorus a couple of times, and then after that, it's the end of the song. And uh, the very sort of last note that you're going to end on is just that chord we've been playing all throughout the song, it's going to play it and let it ring out, so...
Okay, and so I hope you've enjoyed the lesson there then for Blink 182 Carousel. Um, yeah, it's quite a long lesson. There are like a lot of different guitar parts to learn. Some of them kind of do like repeat, or like some of the riffs are quite similar. So once you've got those done, you shouldn't have too many problems. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Uh, you know, if so, uh, remember to visit my site at fastfingerfreddy.com where I've got lots more uh, free videos available for you. You know, so you can sign up for free and uh, you know watch as many videos as you like. And uh, thanks again for watching. And you know, take it easy.